already Aquarius, so this is going to be a reading for the year 2019. This is going to be a yearly prediction. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. If you are new, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date to my messages. And yeah, we're going to hop straight into the forecast or my predictions for 2019. If you guys are interested in getting your own personal 12 card spread where we go into your year and what to expect uh, in the future, definitely make sure you guys are checking out my information in the description box as well as at the beginning of this video. I do have a sale going on for the year ahead tarot spread. So if you're interested in taking advantage of that, make sure you guys reach out. Like I said, all my information will be below. And let's see what this year has in store for you or 2019 has in store for you, okay? So what are some of the lessons my Aquarius were faced with in 2018? What were some of the lessons? So we have the Seven of Cups. So for some of you guys, the lessons that you guys were faced or presented with in 2018 was confusion. Also, a lot of opportunities for some of you guys, a lot of opportunities that had a lot of pros and cons. Uh, for some of you guys, all of the opportunities that you were being presented may have had some sort of like underlying, what's the word, um, like catch to it. Like th these were not opportunities that were really uh, stable opportunities, just very illusionary opportunities being presented to you, whether that's in love, finances, whatever it may be. So a lot of you guys are faced with illusions, uh, confusion, um, overall drug abuse for some of you guys. Um, what else? Um, just overall confusion and unable to really see past the fog of whatever is being presented to you, okay? So overall, you guys are really just in the blind this whole entire year, okay? In some aspect. And I'm actually going to clarify it. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Yeah, illusions when it came to maybe a relationship that you guys are in. Or again, some of you guys were struggling with actual drug abuse um, and having issues with balancing out your feminine and masculine aspects as well. So yeah, a lot of you guys may have ran into this issue. So what can they, what can my Aquarius expect in 2019? What can they expect in the new year? What can they expect? So we have the seven of wands. So in the new year, you guys are really going to have to fight for your dreams. You're really going to have to fight for your relationships. Some of you guys may need to understand that you need to persevere through anything. I'm actually going to clarify this. Yeah. So you might have to fight for a relationship or somebody who you care about. Also, some of you guys may be dealing with a lot of defensive energy coming in from people that you love. Um, I also feel like you guys are really going to have to protect what you guys have going on as well, financially or creatively, and making sure that you're standing your ground so that you can actually get to the desired results that you're looking for, okay? And with the Queen of Cups energy clarifying this, I feel like you guys are also going to have to use your intuition when it comes to you guys persevering and what you guys are actually putting your energy into. Is it really a good investment, you know? Okay, so what is a challenge my Aquarius are possibly going to be faced with for 2019? What is the challenge that my Aquarius are possibly going to be faced with? So we have the three of wands. So this is all about you turning your back on situations that no longer serve you. Also planning for the long term. So the challenge is you guys actually planning for the long term. You may have like a job where there is no real long term thing. It's like whenever. Um, also with the three of wands, this could also be turning your back on a relationship where there may be a third person as well. Um, but overall, the challenge is going to be you guys actually looking towards focusing on the long term, like the next three years long term, and not just thinking about right now. So make sure you guys are not getting yourself stuck into your own, I guess, get stuck in your own problems due to the fact that you didn't plan for the long term. Okay, so yes, keep that in mind, guys. 
Okay, so how can my Aquarius harness their true inner power for the year 2019? How can they really step into their power for 2019? And we have the Knight of Wands. So again, this is all about fickle energy when it comes to like creative projects. Also, just overall like having this urge to just jump on the hottest thing. Don't do that. <laughs> this year, do not do that. Make sure that you guys are not hopping on the nearest hottest thing. And also just being very uh, cautious with your movements. Because with the Knight of Wands, it's very like, okay, I'm just going to jump on it. I don't really care for the details. It's very like Aries, like, okay. And I'm an Aries, but I don't do this. But um, <laughs> making sure you guys are not just hopping on things and staying consistent in your energy when it comes to whatever you're creating whatever you're working on because I can see where some days you're you know very hot and cold and I'm actually going to clarify this yeah and then we have the three of cups so if we're talking about love too make sure that you're not just in relationships with people who are not consistent okay and they just want to have other people involved in the connection or it's just very like in and out and that you guys are not reconciling back with somebody who is going to just keep causing issues okay and yeah I feel like you guys have a lot of choices you guys need to make this year and it's really going to be on you guys this year I, I really feel like it's going to be on you guys whether or not you guys succeed okay so what are some of the lessons that my Aquarius have completely learned in 2018 what have they completely learned in 2018? So we have the Eight of Pentacles. So you guys learned how to improve yourself, like how to master self and also maybe how to build like your own source of income for some of you guys. Learn how to put in hard work to master whatever you wanted to master. Clarifying the Eight of Pentacles, yeah, we have the Nine of Swords. So... The lessons that you guys learned is if you want things to be fixed around you, you have to fix it. Basically, that's what I heard in my head. It's just basically if I have issues, I'm the only one who could fix that. Especially with the Nine of Swords. This is all about anxiety, uh, staying up late at night, thinking things are wrong. So I feel like you guys were having those moments where you thought things were wrong or you wanted things to be changed and you went out there and changed it. Okay. So what is the guidance for 2019 for my Aquarius? What is the guidance for 2019 for my Aquarius? So we have the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like you guys need to go out there and look for more stable opportunities, okay? Especially when it comes to money, when it comes to relationships, relationships that provide some sort of concrete um results okay and when i mean that just not hopping into situationships or people or dealing with people who are not granting you that i guess reassurance that you guys are actually building and actually working towards something okay and then with the ace of pentacles is all about reaching for something that is potentially going to bring in that stability bring in those you know bringing the money and all of that stuff so with the ace of pentacles you guys really need to go after something new Go into a new direction. Step into something that is going to grant you that stability. Okay? Because some of you guys are still stuck to a situation mentally. And you guys may be thinking that there's no way for you to get out of it. But it's all you. Okay? You can definitely get out of it. So what is the personal theme for 2019 for my Aquarius? What is the personal theme? And the personal theme for you is the King of Swords. So everybody's been getting the King of Swords. I feel like this year is really going to be a year of strategic planning. Like being, for one, this is good because you guys are Aquarius. So this is letting me know that you guys are going to be in your element. But also being very strategic in your movements. Making sure that you are applying logic in your, um, in your moves. And that you're not just, again acting impulsively and not really just thinking for the long term so this year is going to be a strategic year and it's going to be ruled by your mind as well like your thinking your mind frame the way that you are applying your logic to build structure into your life is going to depend on how good your year turns out so if you aren't <laughs> 
uh, an Aquarius who's trying to, you know, use their logic and their, their structuring, um, that's going to be an issue. So this year, this is letting me know that you guys are definitely going to be standing in your power. It's just going to be all about the mind this year. How your mind is letting you kind of function or how your mind is playing tricks on you or forcing you to do things. So make sure that you guys are having that in check, using your logic, and yeah, you guys will be good this year, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for you guys. You guys, make sure that you're unraveling yourself from situations that you also feel stuck to, especially if you do have a child with this person. Make sure you guys are getting yourself out of any sort of discomfort. And again, it's all about your mind. You can overcome anything this year. All right, so that's what I'm seeing. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Like this video if it resonated, and I will see you beautiful Aquarius in your next reading. Bye, guys. Have an awesome year.